Amax here by the river in Silverthorne. Beautiful day. I'm with Mac. What's up, Mac? How's it going, Amax? Oh, it's going pretty good, man. You are here with CSU Extension and Wildfire Prevention, something that's so important um, all around Colorado. Tell us more what's going on with wildfire prevention and these emergency kits. Yeah, so with, um, you know, we got 80 plus fires in the West, so to kind of be prepared, you know, we do live in national forests all surrounding us. So to be prepared, we think that it's a good idea for households to make an emergency fire kit. Super important. Super important. Um, you know, it just kind of helps households um, be better prepared if there were an evacuation. Um, and these kits can consist of anything from important documents, birth certificates, um, etc., to uh, pers extra prescriptions, right. um, extra dog and cat food if you have pets at home. And speaking of pets, dogs, and cats, you were mentioning you can get those registered with the fire department in case something does happen to your home. They have a record of pets on file. Is that right? Yes, exactly. So you can go to uh, Summit Fire and EMS and tell them if you do have any pets uh, in case there was a uh, wildfire incident. Um, yeah, so that just helps them know where, which households to go to in such an ev event. Exactly, you gotta save the little guys, oh, the yeah. little cats and dogs. Definitely. Now, what stage are we in? I know I've been seeing on the highway so many different signs of what stage we're in. Stage one, yep. two, where are we at? Yeah, so we're currently in stage one. Um, that just means that you can only have a fire in a permitted fire pit or at uh, campgrounds with those uh, in-ground steel rings. Um, and it could be likely that we might move into stage two in the future, depending right. on the weather. Right. Um, and if we do move into stage two, that just means that you can only have a fire if it has an on and off switch, so usually uh, propi propane. Yep. Um, but yeah, in that stage two, you, can, you cannot have any coal producing uh, fire. Right, so right now you can have a fire stage one, but it's yep. gotta be with a permit, yep. and you gotta be in the right spot with it. Yep, and you can get those permits, again, uh, Summit Fire and EMS, those guys will help you out if you have a pit in your backyard and you're unsure whether you can have a fire or not. Exactly, this rain has been kind of helping us out, do you agree? Oh, yeah. The haze is kind of starting to disappear. Oh, the rain has been super good. Um, we definitely need it, and I think it's really important um, to for everyone to you know recognize if we do get drier that it could be potential for that stage two to come back. Yeah, be ready for stage two just in case, guys. Enjoy stage one though, and if you are having a fire, make sure you have a permit and it's in the correct fire pit. Mac, dude, it's been so good talking yeah, to you. Definitely. Yo, I've been seeing you at Woodward. Oh yeah. Woodward's been awesome. Amax here, he's killing it out there. So, uh, you know, check it out if you can. Aw, oh, man, thanks for that little plug. <laughs> Mac, thank you so much. Guys, go to summitcountyco.gov wildfire to find out more information. Mac, good having you on. Yep, sweet. Thank you.